ground shake What's up guys, today I'm back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys top 5 of the best seeds inside MCP. Now keep in mind these are all in my personal opinion, uh, so you may disagree with these, but that's okay, I'm just showing you guys uh, my personal 5 favorite seeds. Uh, so jumping into the first one, uh, this is going to be a village in an ice spikes biome, and the seed is on the screen 1408803813, and then we could generate that. Uh, so when you spawn, you should spawn on a hillside inside a normal grass biome and all you have to do is just go forward and left a little bit and you will end up in the ice spikes biome where you will be able to see the village which also contains a blacksmith. So if we generate this, as you can see we are by a hillside and then what you do is just go forward and left and you can already see the village without really having to do anything. Over here are the ice spikes and here it is. Uh, so like I said, there is going to be a back blacksmith. So let's see what is inside this. And then over here in the chest. Okay, so some iron, some bread, and an iron helmet. Uh, pretty decent loot for a blacksmith, I guess. And then over here um, are a few frozen farms that you can't really use because it's too cold to grow any crops. But it's actually uh, still pretty cool because it's something rare that you don't ever see in villages unless it's in a cold biome. But yeah, here's basically the ice spikes biome next to the village. Not much else to show about this, uh, so we could jump right into the next seed. And moving on to the next seed, this will be a village inside a mushroom biome, and we could generate that. And so when you spawn, you should spawn in an area with a bit of grass, some sand, and also a river. And all you do from spawn is go left and keep going forward until you can see the uh, village. And by the village will be the mushroom biome. And if you guys didn't catch the seed at the beginning, it was 1754. So as you can see, grass, sand, and a river. And all you do is turn left and just go this way. And you should see a village in this direction if you just keep going and here's a mushroom biome and the village is um i believe it is right here actually yeah here it is okay so here's the village inside the mushroom biome and let's just have these chunks loaded out just like the ice spikes village there is also a blacksmith which is always a plus for the villages and if we just check out the loot real quick we have a bunch of saplings, some bread, and a saddle. So for the loot, uh, it's definitely not as good as the ice spikes biome, but this one is ranked in front of the ice spikes biome because um, in general, mushroom biomes are rarer than uh, ice spikes biomes. So that's basically that for the village. Uh, once again, besides the blacksmith, there's really not much else to show for the villages themselves because all of them have the same design with the same buildings. Uh, so really, that's that, uh, and we'll be jumping on to the next seed. And this next seed is going to be the last village seed of this video, and the seed is 123321-1230, and we'll generate that. And this is going to be a desert village between a snow and mesa biome, and you should spawn inside a forest, uh, just normal grass biome, with some oak and birch trees. And then all you have to do is turn right and go forward, and you could see the triple biome intersection between the desert biome, the snow biome, and the mesa biome. Um... So, so far, this is probably the best single village seed I've seen in the game uh, because of the location as well as the chest. And uh, the only other village seeds that I can think of are better are maybe like uh, quadruple villages in one area, but also those aren't very tightly packed. And uh, anyway, for this seed, uh, there is a blacksmith. It wouldn't be a good village seed without one. Uh, so, like I mentioned, this loot for this one is going to be far better and it is there is an iron sword a ton of iron uh a lot of iron armor a diamond and a couple obsidian so it's really good for the loot wise and also really nice location wise because you rarely get to see a cold biome next to two warm biomes or hot biomes and once again we have this frozen farm effect where no crops are growing because it's too cold and uh, there are a few farms that actually are growing because they're near the warmer side. So yeah, this is the desert village. Uh, once again, all villages are pretty much identical so not much else to see here and we'll jump into the next seed.
Moving on to the next seed, we have a bunch of mountains uh, near an ocean, and we could generate this. And where you will spawn is in a birch forest, and all you have to do is turn around and you can start seeing the tall mountains. Uh, so the technical term for this biome is a stone beach, but I don't think that really describes it as well as it could uh, because it doesn't just look like a stone beach. These mountains are ginormous and practically all stone. Uh, so you guys can see it once this world is generated. And here we go, the birch forest. And all you have to do is turn around, you start seeing uh, some water. And over here is the first mountain. And then if you keep coming over here, there should be a few waterfalls. Yes, three in fact. Uh, there might be more actually. And then, yeah, it's basically like a ravine except a lot bigger with water in the middle and an opening. So yeah, this is the biome that they call a stone beach. Yeah, it looks way different than what you would picture when you hear stone beach. It's just a bunch of tall mountains. I think I also saw coal sticking out of one of them. Yep. Coal over here, coal over there, there. Okay, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six spots of coal. Seven, actually. Eight, nine. Oh, God. That's already nine. I think that's ten right there. Eleven and twelve. Wow. Okay, yeah, so probably 20 spots of coal just sticking out in this mountain itself. And then uh, three waterfalls, I believe, if I didn't see a fourth. And then over here. Okay, here's some uh, actual vegetation and trees, but then if we go back over the mountains, let's see if there's anything else. Um, not much I see. A lot of gravel. Um, don't know. The white stone. Okay, right there. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that kind of stone in a long time. I forgot its name. It's like andesite or something. Probably messed that up. Let's, let's check. It's diorite. Okay. Or diorite. Um, but anyway, that is that for this seed. And uh, we'll be moving on to the next one. And to top things off, the final seed for this video is going to be a quadruple rare biome intersection with a mega taiga, a cold taiga or snow taiga, ice spikes, and a jungle biome. Um, so the seed for this is 142218 And the reason this seed is previously generated is because this seed has a lot to load. There's oceans, there's jungle trees, there's everything. And uh, it took about 10 full minutes for the uh, spotlight of the seed, the area of the quadruple intersection, to actually load. And I didn't want to put you guys through 10 minutes of just waiting and loading chunks. So I decided to have everything load first, and then I would jump into the seed. So when you first spawn, you spawn in this island with a few jungle trees, as well as some sand. And you can see that there's this weird arrow just pointing towards, uh, towards the uh, cold biome. Go right of this arrow until uh, you see another cold biome. And then over here, the cold biome or the cold taiga will intersect with the jungle biome. And that is where you want to go. Uh, just follow this intersection down. And here we already have two of the four uh, rare biomes. And if you keep going down, the next one you will see will be the mega taiga. And the final one that you will see, the farthest one from spawn, is the ice spikes biome. Uh, so just follow this. As you can see, Mega Taiga is loading up over here, and then over here on the right will be the Ice Bikes biome. So once again, as you can see, uh, just generation for this seed is a lot slower than the previous four, because this seed had just so much to load. Obviously, I have a higher render distance now, but even with the same render distance as before, generation was so slow, and I just didn't want to put that... Um, Put that in the video. Uh, so yeah, here we are, the four rare biomes. Jungle, Snow Taiga, Mega Taiga, and Ice Spikes, as well as a Lava uh, Puddle. So yeah, that's basically uh, the number one seed, in my opinion. I mean, how often can you actually see four rare biomes all next to each other in just one area? Uh, so... Yeah, that's that for the seed. And then uh, for all the seeds, uh, they will be in the description below. Uh, so you guys can check them out for yourselves. And other than that, uh, this is going to close the video. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.